Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another cool reading. Yeah, we do. Hope you guys are all well and we are uh, kind of holding this moonstone here which is so iridescent, right? Uh, yeah, it's very cool. I love this uh, stone but uh, see how it's like kind of hitting the, wow, it's kind of hitting the camera too. Like Oh, it's kind of creating this battle. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's get into it here. And if you guys would like your own reading before we begin, Capricorn, uh, you may get one. Click on the calendar, and I'm offering psychic readings and tarot readings. I recommend getting both because they're a lot of fun. We start with the psychic reading. I don't know any much much of anything about this person or you, and because uh, I don't read, uh, you know, any of that. <clears throat> and then when we go, when we do the tarot, then you can tell me the story uh, about your situation, but we get insight from both different insight. That's why I always recommend that. And plus it's more fun and more personal. Let's begin. Yeah. Capricorn, we have the fool and the miser. So somebody's kind of innocent and real nice and wants an adventure and they even have flowers in their hands. Capricorn, uh, you know, he looks like he's falling to his death here, but he said, what the heck, right? At least I'll, you know, maybe I can deliver these flowers before I hit, hit, the, hit the dust here. <laughs> I don't think so, right? And then the miser's here, though. And the miser is <clears throat> uh, somebody who is trying to take all the jewels here. And this is a miserable, uh, miserable person. Uh, they have, you know, her painted very unattractive because it's showing somebody's heart, right? Showing how they really are. And so the fool with the miser, somebody is here is coming uh, to be, you know, have an adventure with you or have a union with you, have a marriage, whatever. But they're seeing it as adventurous, right? And fun. Otherwise the fool wouldn't be there. No. And so, uh, and there's courage here. And so the miser showing up here, I feel like that has to do with, uh, with the coffin. I feel like somebody's going to get a kind of a booting, right? You're getting the boot, right? If you guys know what that is, right? Uh, I feel like everybody does. Right. And so, and there, and there's an ending and in between the miser, let's hold these cards up. So you guys, uh, you know, in between here, we have the miser, here's the fool, right? And then we have the miser next, uh, which is here now. And so, and then in the middle is the, uh, the horse and the horse is breaking out of the globe. Like, no, I'm not going to be in the globe. I'm going to go have fun. I'm going to live my life and live it fully. I'm not going to be stuck in a globe, right? Uh, of course not, right? And so he's breaking away here and here's the coffin ending something. So he can, you know, that's that coffin actually was, I think it was first. Okay, no, it was after. But, you know, it's still clear here that somebody's uh, breaking chains here. And yeah, the horse, uh, used to be the horse on the pole, kind of like at the, you know, the merry-go-round that I still like at my age. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> I didn't like it when I was a kid, but I like it now. <laughs> so, you know, that's funny, right? My mom used to, you know, put me on that or, you know, go with me. I'm like, I don't like this. Boring, right? Is there something else we could do here? And so here, but, uh, and the dolls are looking up like, wow, here's Pinocchio. Pinocchio said, go for it. Right. And Pinocchio went on his own little, uh, his own little adventure, right? And he got caught up with, uh, the riffraff he did. And, uh, mm -hmm, uh, I haven't seen the latest one. I don't think I'm gonna, but, uh, you know, here is the doll. They're both kind of looking up like, wow, it's time for you to go and break away. And we have the three crosses and, you know, these are the, uh, Appalachian cards, right? Somebody sent me straight on that, but, uh, how to pronounce that. And, oh, wow. Is this in the reverse? No, it's in the upright. Yeah, it's in the upright because of the crosses. I was looking at the 10. Yeah, never mind. But uh, this talks about accepting the truth. That's it. Accepting the truth. There's a few things in life, taxes, death, and I don't know, car insurance. That's what they said, right? Which uh, is pretty true, right? You have to have car insurance, uh, you know, unless you are um, kind of uh, there's another way, but we're not going to discuss that today, kind of. But by and large, you have to have car insurance, right? <laughs> and so, uh, you know, this is uh, not part of the story here. But the point is, somebody's ending something because they know that they must. They're like, I'm accepting this. This isn't like, I'm seeing the truth. I'm seeing the light, right? Yeah, and this is like the Calvary here. Uh, uh, you know, this has to do with, 
Yeah, it has to do with religion, but it just really has to do with uh, the truth here, like seeing the truth here about life, right? And then we have happiness. We do. So, you know, somebody is accepting that they have to break out of something, Capricorn. I feel like break away from this miser. And I feel like whoever's kind of getting the boot here is trying to, they're trying to keep all the money, right? How dare they, right? Yeah, we're not going with that, Capricorn, or we don't go for that over here. No, we don't. Uh, we try to help the, uh, what is it? Uh, the victim. We try to, but you know, it's not always that easy to do that here. Oh, and my books are falling down here and that's okay. We're going to let them kind of fall here. Okay. So somebody here is being greedy. That's what the miser is all about. And you know, the miser is also miserable, right? Yeah. It's somebody miserable and it can be somebody who, uh, who, you know, their only happiness in life is money. And that's, you know, the original story of the miser in folklore, uh, I think why we've all kind of seen it, you know, we were kids, right? And so, uh, mm -hmm. and so, yeah. So let's get into it here. And we're going to use these cards today, Capricorn, which are the, I don't know, kind of a spell casters. Let's see. We're trying to put a spell on you guys today just for fun, right? A good one though, right? Let's see what we got <laughs> for Capricorn, please. And, uh, we start with the devil Capricorn and, you know, he's really awful looking, uh, in this deck, because he looks like he's part, part bug, part snake, part, just really, you know, bad here. So let's see what we got. And, uh, I will call the cards out as soon as I have kind of placed them down here. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. we have the Knight of swords here and, uh, interesting. The Knight of swords is on a bull in this deck. And so what it means is that this is super determination, right? Cause the Knight of pentacles, the Knight of pentacles shows up, but slow, right? but very earnest, right? Uh, and so, but this knight here, he's on his bull. So compared to the other knight, somebody's show, coming up, showing, coming here or showing up. And uh, let's see, and they want to hold on to you, four of pentacles. Okay. In your environment, Capricorn, I think is somebody with money. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure because the miser is trying to hold on to it. And this King of Pentacles has, you know, uh, this big pot of gold, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he's guarding it. Right. And that's in your environment. So whoever's going to show up for you has a little bit of money. And I know Capricorns can uh, really appreciate that because you guys are the 10th house of ambition, right? You're like, bring it on. Right. So, yeah. And in the heart of the matter, we see the devil. I kind of have to cover him up a little bit. Uh, and these people are chained and the man has suffered more than the woman. You can tell by the state of his body. Yeah. And they're chained and they're drinking, uh, from this kind of poisonous cup. And here he is with the ball, the devil's here with the ball and the chain. Uh, and you know, he's going to do wreak havoc on somebody here. Like he's going to hit these people kind of, right? This is terrible, right? Yeah. He's going to torture them. And, uh, he also kind of has bat wings here. I mean, he's kind of, the, this is like the, the ugliest uh, devil. They did a good job here, right? The snakes are here. They're not really here for any new life or because, you know, uh, when we see serpents sometimes, uh, or the snake, they can, you know, be seen as like, because they eat their own skin uh, to have a new life. These are seen as uh, deception, uh, you know, unhappiness and just, you know, evil and things like that. I'm not saying this person is evil. I'm saying that, uh, they were dealing with something that was really kind of, kind of hurt them or, uh, really put them through it. Right. Yeah. Just, that's the best way to say it maybe. Right. Uh, and so here we have, uh, the devil as the overall energy. Maybe it is you who is in this energy uh, the six of wands crosses it here. This is about a victory. And this is about this woman here, uh, who is, they are all offering their wand to her and she stands like a warrior and, uh, the Eagle is on her shoulder. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, this person is proud with nobility and she's being respected and she is coming with courage and power and determination. And I feel like that's, this person is coming like that. And they are kind of leaving this devil, uh, situation here where they felt really like, um, what's the word just really stuck here. And maybe their person was kind of a devil kind of, or the devil's not, you know, I mean, this is kind of an overall word here, but maybe their person was really mean or really awful. Maybe not a good person deep down, things like that, because this miser is kind of showing that picture. 
right? Yeah. It's interesting because I don't use this deck that much. And here comes the miser, right? Here comes the miserly person. Miserable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we have coming into play as a four of pentacles. This person wants to hold on to you and guard you. They're guarding you, Capricorn. They're protecting it. That's the better way to say it. You know, that may be you, but I don't feel like that. I feel like there's action. There's, there's definitely an action here. There's an ending to have a new beginning because we have happiness in the outcome and we have the fool in the, in the, uh, the overall energy as the Oracle deck, right? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, somebody's breaking away from somebody who is like miserly and miserable, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, and uh, people sometimes people with a lot of money are miserable because they thought it was going to like give them way more. They thought it was going to make them happy and they realize, no, happiness comes from within, right? There's plenty of poor people around the world that live in these countries that don't have much at all and they're happy. Oh my God, and they live long lives and things like that, right? And then, you know, and then some other people come come, come calling right to their country. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but we have the seven of wands Capricorn and here he is, he's standing up here and he's protecting himself. He's protecting his turf and, uh, he's been able to do it. Uh, he has, and, uh, he's standing on the wands and, uh, but this is reversed here. And, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, maybe this is what you think this person is standing kind of like not in their power or something like that. Uh, you could be expecting this. You could be, ex it doesn't mean you don't think they're going to show up necessarily, but you could be thinking, God, they're, maybe they're taking an ass whooping over there. It could be right. Because you could be thinking, oh, they, you know, they could be like that. Maybe with this person, this person's very mean. And the overall energy is this mean devil. And that's not you Capricorn. All right. As much as I like you guys, that's not you. Yeah. What I do believe is showing up in this reading is that your person was afraid of somebody here on some level, right? I mean, you don't have to be afraid they're going to come home and beat you up, but you could be afraid on many kind of, um, like, uh, subtle ways, right? You could like, yeah, just like sometimes, you know, you, you might want, you might not want to talk to somebody, right? Because you go, uh, you know, like I know somebody who's kind of angry, right? And, uh, you know, even if they don't have anything to be angry at me about, they, they, you know, they could, right. You could get into some type of a conversation and maybe they don't agree. This is what I think of this person. They're not going to agree with what I say and that's fine. And I'm not agreeing with what they say, but I don't get mad. I just go on with the, with the next subject or whatever. And they do. So that would be the kind of person that you don't want that you might be afraid of. Right. Kind of right. Yeah. You could afraid to feel to be around that low energy, afraid to, uh, being kind of dragged down to it and afraid of like chaos and arguments. It's not afraid, but it's very uneasy, right? It's, it's, I mean, I feel like uneasiness is real close to fear on, uh, the scale of emotions. Yeah. And so, uh, in the night of swords shows up in the past, somebody here was really kind of taking their, taking their life back in the past. And that's why there's an ending that's happening here. The two of swords. Yeah. And that's her here. She's bringing, here she is, uh, you know, the beautiful, uh, African warrior here and here she is and she has her two swords here, but she's not, she's not like in the regular two of swords energy. Here's the wolf. The wolf means there's a, a, a great calling or an expansion. And that's what she's taking advantage of here with the knight of swords. That's what somebody did here. They said, I have to, I want my happiness. I'm accepting the truth here with these three crosses. Yeah. The three crosses accepting. Yeah. That there's accepting that accepting that, like, I see the truth. That's really about the truth, right? So this person sees the truth that somebody is kind of miserable here, that I need to really end this in order if I ever want this, and this is happiness, right? Yeah. We all want to be happy. Okay. Anybody who says they don't, well, yeah. Okay. Well, we don't have time for that, uh, that session. That's, it's a psychology or a, it's a therapy session, right? It is. But uh, yeah, we want to help people though, cause I'm studying a healing modality. We do. Yeah. And I'll talk about it later. Right. So in, uh, the near future is a page of swords and this page always looks really nice, right? It cracks me up. It's a woman here and you know, the sword is, uh, twice as big as her. It looks twice as heavy. <coughs> and so the six of pentacles is with it. And this is, uh, somebody's bringing you here, 
a message very soon, Capricorn. They want to share with you. Yeah, and they want to share with you. And uh, it's really nice in this reading. The high priestess shows up and she knows what she wants. And uh, yeah, even though she has no eyes here. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, her face is kind of like a black bean, right? And so that's fine. And uh, she's in her book of, you know, her metaphysical book here with spells and things like that. And uh, the baby is with her. The baby is uh, swaddled here. And so this is in your advice. This person is trusting their intuition, right? Yeah, they are. And we have the three of pentacles because they want to work. They want something of value. He's showing the, the pentacle to these, these young people. Like this is value, right? He's like presenting it even, right? So, so you know, uh, this person here, this is your advice. This person is trusting their intuition that you are value. You're valuable to them, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn. Sorry, you guys. You're valuable to them and... Uh, you know, that's, that kind of, that's the, uh, that's it here, right? That's the tell all, right? And the King of Pentacles, you're in your own environment here, Capricorn, but this could be somebody with money. It could be a male with money here because that's what's sitting there, right? And that's who is sitting there. Let's see what else we got. We got the Page of Cups with it. And we can't, the woman is bare-breasted here, uh, well, kind of, and, Yeah. And so it's just weird how her legs look here, but she has her hand up here and to the, to the man who's holding the cup, the dolphins are in the back having a good time. And then the other man is looking up. So, uh, they call this the page of cups and she's putting her hand out. I'll show you the card. And he's drinking the man at the top that she's trying to give me the cup. This person is bringing you a message here, Capricorn, uh, that they want to like drink from your cup and be with you and partake and uh, spend time with you. And for me, it looks like something long-term here because there's something else ending, right? Now, for some of you guys, it could be an ending here. It could be. It could just be an ending between uh, you and this person. You know, uh, not an ending between you and them, but there was an ending or they're ending a fight with you possibly. Uh, for some, that will be the case and this will be a truce. Yeah, it could be definitely that here. But there's... But the major energy here or the bigger energy here is a new beginning, right? And whoever this miser is, uh, yeah, we're just going to knock him out, uh, Capricorn. We are. Uh, so the King of Pentacles uh, is shown here uh, with the, uh, with the king. The king is shown with a page and this is in your environment. So this is just showing this person wants to drink for your, come your cup. And they could be coming with news here, right? They, they should. We, we have, yeah, they could definitely be coming with news. And uh, the four of swords shows up in your hopes and fears. And, you know, uh, this is, uh, he's lying here um, and he is trying to heal here. And uh, the wolves are protecting him. So you're hoping it's protected, this great calling. The wolf always means a great calling, right? And yeah, it's, you know. I mean, yeah, we're not, this is not Little Red Riding Hood, right? Where the wolf is, you know, somebody's boyfriend, right? No, it's not. He's, or if they are, it's not in this reading, right? Yeah, it's a great calling, right? In the outcome, we see temperance and, uh, you know, uh, she's got her wings here. Uh, they're on her head, right? Because she's not a, uh, I don't, cons maybe she's an angel, but, you know, she kind of looks like a page here and they're on her feet here. Uh, and she is bringing news. It's news of healing, of harmony and kind of goodwill here, right? Let's get another card on the outcome for a Capricorn's person. I mean, for Capricorn, sorry, you guys, in the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's harmony here and there's release. There's balance and release that is going to happen here. That's what the Eight of Swords is always about, release, right? Let me out of this, let me out of this fence here with all these uh, swords. And, you know, it's not that they will pierce him so much. It's that they are headaches and, you know, fights with somebody, and uh, it can be a lower vibration. It's all about your mind, right? I mean, you know, your vibration is your spirit, but still, you know, you can manifest uh, a bunch of terrible kind of feelings in this stuff from, from the swords, right? Or habits or underlying problems, anything, right? But this is definitely a release from a situation. And I have two cards here for your person. And the first card they have for their Oracle spread in the extended is good times, right? So this is what's on their mind. They want good times. They want to end this miserly thing where they, you know, where their horse was stuck in the globe and they're like, no, I'm a real horse here. I'm not little Pinocchio who's uh, like, you know, down here, he's not a real boy, 
But here, this is breaking out to live my life fully. And the coffin, uh, you know, it was following the coffin. So this means that uh, the coffin is next for an ending. Someone's breaking out here. And uh, crossing your person uh, for these good times that are on their mind and their overall energy is the Queen of Hearts. And this is you, Capricorn, uh, unless the reading is switched here, uh, where they love you here. And the Queen of Hearts is very much like the Queen of Cups. But in this deck, it is somebody who is very much loved and respected. So we're going to end this reading and go to the extended and they're all super affordable. And thank you so much for joining me here. God bless you guys. And yeah, if you guys want to book a reading, click on the calendar. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.